Okay, thanks everyone for having a look at, at my cover of Peter Holland's December song. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, for the, I did all the audio in Ableton Live 9, which is what I'm in here. Um, and as you can see, I've got quite a few different tracks happening. I've got 26 different tracks. I didn't end up using those those drums at the end, but I'll, I'll show you that as well. Um, so qu quite a few different different bits and pieces. So we've got, um, and pretty much everything is doubled as, as well. Um, I've got some that are actually tripled. So we've got main voice at the top, which is doubled, just here. And then backing vocals, this one was high, which I had on the left. And then an echo, which I only had for the last chorus. Echoes I had tripled. So I had, this was high. Uh, so they had, had that hard right. And then backing vocal two, which was on the, also on the right, but that was the lower one. And then echo two, which was also low but hard left. Just try and have a mix between, not just have high on one side and low on the other side, but have it a little bit mixed. But yeah, I'm trying to get that spectrum happening nicely. Then I had the piano riff. The had that in there. Then um, all the, the high notes on the piano. I had this right hand going through most of it. So, so you know. That bit. Um, which is kind of a little counter melody that I came up with, if you, if you like. Um, my computer is being a bit noisy. It, it doesn't like me very much. Um, so we might have to ignore that a little bit. It's, I, I try to do too many things at once is the problem. So it doesn't like me. Um, then we have the main piano coming in here after the first verse. And a high bit. Uh, this, this is kind of where I actually started with, with the with this cover, I just started off with this little idea, which was these two bits together. Um, so just this. Just that. And I was like, hang on, I, I can have this happening over everything else, and it'll be a nice backdrop to the whole thing. Um, and it worked, which was awesome. Um, so I, I thought I might have been able to do it as, as the one sort of thing, like do the chord and the pluck of the, of the note, but I didn't quite manage it. I'll show you how to get in the guitar right on. So that's what I was doing with the plucking, but then I'll lose. nicer if when I separated them so I did that so that stays the same the whole way throughout um, and we've got the main main strumming with the guitar there um, and then I wanted to put in drums I, I, I wanted to put in drums but I funnily enough I don't I don't have drums I'll have this little tiny um, I have this little tiny drum um, which has literally no sound at all, it's just a kind of toy sort of thing. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's all it is. It, it doesn't give you much. Um, and I was trying to use it as a sort of bass sort of thing, and that doesn't really work. I think I tried hitting on the bench top, and that wasn't really working either. I'll show you over here. 
I had it originally. I, I was playing this one for most of it. Then I tried doing the bench top coming in just before the chorus here. So I'll show you it with with that. All right, and I'll solo this for a sec. That crackle is from the computer. It's not actually that crackle. Oh, uh, that that that's how how bad my computer is. Uh, water damage. It's not fun. Okay. Okay. So I'll take you through a couple of the different bits and pieces that I've done here. So most of the the backing stuff that I did. So you know the guitar. The and the main guitar and the main piano was, was all just straight the chords more or less. Um, particularly the, the guitar I can't do anything fancy with. The piano I played around with a little bit here and there. Um, but it was it was fairly standard. Um, in terms of what I'm doing over here with the um, audio effects and stuff. I tried to keep it fairly standard in terms of what I was doing across the different ones. So I had on most of them the stereo enhanced master, which includes the EQ8, the glue compressor. What are you? I'm not sure. Utility something rather, I'm guessing. And a limiter. Um, and then I like using a bit warmer. And this was the reverb that I was using forest floor across most of the instruments. Um, so I, I was using that across pretty much everything, I think. Um, oh yes, I had, so I had Stereo Enhanced Master on some of them, and on some of the others I had the Wide and Warm Master happening. So depending on, on which instruments I was using. Um, and then, oh yeah, for the, this high bit here, I had that going I had this around the head happening there, so going between the left and the right, chasing around, which was worked really nice. It created this little effect. I'll solo it out. That's actually where it stops there for that little bit. For the welcome, let us adore him. You can get an idea of that there. So if I turn those two off, again, you're getting some of the greenness coming through the computer, but you get the idea. Um, so yeah, all this was recorded just with, with the computer here. Um, yeah, I don't have um, any fancy microphones or anything like that. Um, it's it's just me. Um, so I, I've played the guitar for it. I played the piano for it. Um, yeah, and okay. So coming back over here, then yeah. So yeah, I did the high piano first. So I came up with this. Oh, I, I did the piano riff, riff first. Put that in. And then I was like, oh, I've, I've got this cool idea that sounds like it would work nice. And that, that works really nicely with it. Um, and I actually changed at the same time as the chord there, which is really nice. Um, and so I just kind of kept kept on playing that phrase for the verse and the intro and then kind of just made up the rest of it um, just improv sort of thing um, so I think I played it through once and then I recorded it the next time and I used that um, so that was the, the piano high there and then going on to the vocals the vocals so the main vocal, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, as you can see, is pretty much just the whole 
one track. That did one drive, whole thing. Um, I can't remember if that was one, if that was the first take or if it needed a couple of takes, I can't remember. Um, but I did it all in one go. Um, then we have, oh, I thought this was nice. I just like highlighting those little bits. I find that quite nice. So that's what I was trying to do there, and then I've got the ooze. Um, then I've got this which is reflecting what, or not not reflecting so much, more anticipating what I'm going to be doing with the final chorus and the echoes there, because I quite like that echo happening. Um, yeah, so I did that, and then we get the back vocal starting to come in a little bit, a little bit more, be a bit more involved, and now it's pretty much a harmony the whole way through here, and then cutting out the oh come let us adore him. And here, as, as you can see, um, that's actually the reverb that I'm increasing there. I increase um, how wet reverb is, and I also increase the um, increase the decay time. So it's a big difference in between here and here in terms of practicing. Yeah, that ethereal kind of effect, I guess. Um, and then I had the same thing with these backing vocals, and I had that uh, um, coming out over this long drought. Ooh, come. So that's the, the ooh there. I have coming back in after that, and that's where I brought in the echoes as well, coming in just here after that which was nice, um, and this is where I would have brought in the drums here at the final double chorus just before it, as you can see, yeah, um, but it didn't quite work out, I couldn't quite get the right sound that I was after, and I didn't want to just bring in, you know, a, a drum from, from in here, I thought, no, I'll just leave it as is, um, so, yeah, that's, that's the whole shebang as they say um, so you know but by the time that we get to this final chorus there's a lot happening <laughs> um, and, it, and it can be quite busy and there are things that that can easily get get lost in that mix um, so yeah I just wanted to have this opportunity to show you a bit of the work that went into that um, and a bit of the balancings, as you can see, you know, it's not just everything at zero. This one's at this one's at zero because it's the main vocal. Well, then I've got these guys at minus five. Got these guys at minus twelve. These guys at minus three. These guys at minus nine. Oh no, minus ten. Nine point nine. Um, that was at zero because that's the piano riff that needs to come through. Minus ten. Main piano was at zero. That was at minus eight, minus four, anyway, um, and using up that left right as well. So, yeah, I thought, thought some people might be interested in, in how that was constructed and how I did that. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.